Hey Scorpio, this is Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. Thank you so much for all of your love and support Scorpios. You guys know how I feel about you. Scorpio Nation, it's all about you babies. Let's see what God, Angels, and Universe has for you Scorpio. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Come on y'all, what y'all doing up there? Bless Scorpio, see what I'm saying? Listen. Who's up there? Ramon, stop pulling these cards out like that. <laughs> all right, all right, come on. We got one, two, three, four, five, and six. And look, the Queen of Pentacles, which I'm taking in a ton of cups. Cause, Cause, it is just raggedy. Like, <laughs> it's just, it's, angels just have a lot to say to y'all today, Scorpio. All right, all right. Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. This is gonna be a long reading, Scorpio. This year energy right now, Scorpio, the Four of Swords and the Four of Cups. A lot of you guys are healing, especially mentally. You're in your regenerative period. You are disengaged emotionally. I'm also hearing like you're focus focusing maybe on one area of emotion. You know, maybe it's making yourself happy. Maybe it's healing yourself. Maybe it's self-love and self-care. I do feel like you've taken a break emotionally, you know, whether that's with the relationships Maybe stepping away from your partner, stepping away from a highly emotional situation. Now, here comes the boom, Scorpio, because universally, this is the second reading I've had with Scorpio where the universe has shown up in your Scorpio reading to say, listen, okay, it's almost like the universe is whispering a secret in your ear, Scorpio, that only you know, okay? And not only that, but I feel like that's very subjective, so each one of you will have obviously different messages not only that but i'm being told not to reveal it just because i know that cross watchers watch these videos as well but scorpio you know something amazing is coming scorpio you know it you feel it 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 is crawling up the back of your neck as in vibes um chills it's like this information about this this next great opportunity is is all up in your psyche and your energy field you know something is about to be revealed to you with that strength card um and the queen of pentacles and the ten of cups ironically this is career for me right because i feel like a lot of you guys have been busting your ass and working hard at work a lot of you guys may hold higher positions not necessarily in title, but you have an important job or an important role in your organization, right? Not only that, a lot of you guys are head of household, you know, paying child support, you know, your the type of work that you do represents your family, you know, you do it for the kids or you do it for the house or you do it for the dog, it doesn't matter. Like you are a person with very high and very deep integrity. The way that you do your job and how you approach your job is, is with utmost care, um, incredible value, expertise, and I can just go on and on, right? Not only that, but again, she's the queen of pentacles with the ten of pentacles. You know, it, this could be a position that a lot of you guys are desiring as well. Now, here's something funky for you, Scorpio, because I feel like whatever this position is, cards still trying to fall out, universe. Um, whatever this position is, um, I'm hearing subconsciously that you guys may have to change transition. <laughs> you know, a lot of you guys to an extent could have to go through some sort of etiquette training or some sort of managerial, how to talk to people. Like, yeah, if you're in, if you're put in a management position, you know, when it comes to firing or terminating people, there is a process, right? So the company doesn't get sued because, you know, of how you let them go, what language you use, so on and so forth, right? So I do feel like whatever is coming along with this position is also coming along with some sort of training or information to help you 
adjust to this new environment, to this new situation. What I'm also hearing as well, told you guys this is going to be a long reading, with that Queen of Pentacles, Scorpio, I'm going to take that. With that Queen of Pentacles, right? This is a major, major, major position. This is like official, okay? This is incredibly official. This is going to set you, you know, in a really nice place financially for the rest of your life, for your family, for your house. And like I said, you know, Fido the dog, right? Not only that, but as part of this strength card, that's what these two fours are sitting here. Actually, we got a third four on the table. That's what all those fours are because the fours in this tarot represent, you know, table ends, right? It represents stability. It represents something being stable and finally, you know, kind of quote unquote erect as in on all fours. That sounds very sexual. Let me stop because I know who I'm reading for. But y'all know what I'm saying. It, you know, it's almost like you, when you're building a house, you lay the foundation. But once you actually get the frame up, the wood, you know, the shape of the house, then it's like, okay, you're starting to feel like a house. Um, what I'm also getting to is that for a lot of you guys, absolutely, yes, this new opportunity, this new long-term money. Yeah, a lot of you guys will be buying a house. And as I said that, the Queen of Pentacles showed up again. Okay. <laughs> Queen of Swords. Scorpio, y'all only showing up in some way, shape, or form. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That top row, Scorpio, again, I feel like is your energy. Remember, guys, energy can be reversed. So it could be, I don't know, it's a person you're dealing with or you're, the situation itself. The first line is you, Scorpio. You know something is about to go your way a hundredfold. You know what I mean? It's going to require, again, some sort of new training, you morphing into management material, whatever that is for you. And it's, it's, it's going to be long term. It's going to make you happy over a long term. You're finally going to get that position once and for all. You're going to be good, 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 Scorpio. Okay. Now let's talk about some soap operas. <laughs> let's, let's get the drama. Y'all know this could not be a Scorpio reading without the drama. Okay. Um, with this four of swords and also the four of wands, I do feel like for you, Scorpio, um, angels just said to me, what's on your mind these days? is only things that matter. Only things that, that only things that really, really, really matter to you is what you're giving your energy and attention to these days. And I love that for you, Scorpio. Because I would prefer for you to cut out a bunch of the bullshit and focus on you, your growth, your financial growth, your, you know, healing everything else. I would prefer for you to work on that than for you to be sitting in that dark, lower energy right? Which Scorpios, again, tend to camp out there, right? It's our quote unquote comfort zone. Okay. So for right now, it just kind of feels like angels just said to me, you guys have strategically learned how to check out. Holy shit. It's almost like you've learned moderation, Scorpio. Cause you know, we're extremists. We go from either all the fucking way hot. We go from coffee hot or, you know, Arctic cold. We don't necessarily do warm very well, but until Scorpio. Scorpio has learned moderation. Scorpio has learned lukewarm because it's two of pentacles and the four of cups. That kind of says to me, sometimes you're in, you know, you play around a little bit, you engage, and then sometimes you pull back, right? You've learned how to fucking rock that seesaw like a motherfucker, Scorpio. Sometimes I'm up, sometimes I'm down, right? I feel like for a lot of you guys, yes, you are learning your regenerative properties and, and learning what that process looks like, okay? Now, with the Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups, again, we're walking away from everything that does not serve us. Okay, bitch, bye. Okay, see ya. All right, it's almost like you guys are becoming certified waivers, waving people out of your lives, like, bye, adios, right? Like, you're learning all of the different ways of saying, bye, bitch, you gotta go. And you're doing that for your mental, for your emotional, and even for your financial health, Scorpio, right? Because I feel like a lot of you guys have learned your value and your worth, okay? You finally learned, I feel like, that people don't leave you for emotional reasons, right? People leave you for energetic reasons, as in they are detrimental to your energetic health, okay? 
So now it's like Scorpio has morphed. Scorpio has evolved. Before we would get sad. Like, damn, why they gotta go? But I love them. Now it's like, bye. See you later. Thanks for stopping by. Gotta go. Okay. Call you later. Never. Right? Like you've learned right there. You've learned to trust the universe and also assist the universe in getting them the fuck on. Okay? Scorpio, I applaud you like, like with everything that I am because that's huge. That is huge. You have partnered with the universe to no longer try to hold on to something that wasn't serving you, right? You got the queen of pentacles and the queen of swords here like sisters. I'm too valuable. Fuck you, boo. You got to go. This is now, say, for instance, who you are, right? And and by the way, angels just said to me, oh, well, what about the other two queens, the queen of wands and the queen of cups? Well, that's love and passion, honey. If you don't get past phase one, you don't get to see the other queens, right? And the queens are not represented here. So it's almost like cross watcher, boo boo. If you don't get past phase one of these two, if you ain't contributing positively to my human experience, you gotta go. <laughs> not only that, but again, when the universe starts to pull you away, Scorpio's like, again, okay, universe, all right, I understand. This one's not mental, meant for me. This one is detrimental to my health. Not only that, but what I'm also getting to that you guys are also now understanding because you've morphed and evolved that once you clear away this clutter, once you start walking away, you start getting rid of them cups. It's like, eh, 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 eh. I don't need these. Let me go ahead and get rid of those. Haven't used that cup in two years. You understand subconsciously that you make room for new love. You make new energetic space for new love. This is something else that you know too, Scorpio. You know, as an example, things are starting to go your way. And for some of you, yeah, going your way could be the introduction of new love. I don't really feel that wholeheartedly, especially because the next couple of cards that are here. But I do kind of feel like this is more of a cleansing that you are making space for new love, if that makes sense. Right. And here's the thing, Scorpio, y'all have been healing. Y'all have been getting rid of shit. Y'all been letting down those, those guards. Y'all been getting rid of those burdens. Remember I said to you earlier about the um, career reading in that you may have to take a class basically to, to enhance your skills and become, you know, kind of more in the role of, of um, you know, management or whatever the case is. It's almost like you need training or orientation. Thank you, God. You need orientation, say, for instance, to arrive or get at or understand that level, okay? Well, guess what? Also in your love life too, Scorpio, y'all just went through some sort of orientation as well, right? But it was an exit orientation. In other words, why people are leaving, why so many people leave, because the universe has been saying to you, Scorpio, all along, they were detrimental to your emotional health. So that's why they had to fucking go. OK, I feel like now, again, you've completed orientation. You know what to let go of, who to let go of. This also includes your <laughs> questionable habits. I'll call them Scorpio. I won't call them bad habits. I'll just call them questionable. You also know this this in requires you letting go of certain things too, related to yourself and letting it go again is clearing up and creating new opportunity, new space, new energetic, um, or new energy within you and in your, your, um, your psychic realm, your emotional realm, your mental realm. It's creating new space for you, um, for either the love of yourself is teaching you new ways to love yourself, or it's again, creating a space for new love externally, meaning someone else coming in and loving yourself also. You know, this is a hard lesson for you guys. Um, of course, we know cancer is quote, quote unquote clingy. Scorpio tends to cling too, right? Oh, sorry, Scorpio secret. But the difference, of course, between cancer and Scorpio is that, you know, eventually, you know, if Scorpio deems you quote unquote unworthy, we will, we will get rid of your ass, right? But we're so fucking loyal that we really, really, really try to work with you. We really, really do. 
But I feel like, again, this was a struggle to release certain people, Scorpio, because you are so damn loyal. You know what I mean? But guess what? We completed exit orientation. So we now understand, again, these six cards here, we understand the importance of letting shit go because it creates space for beautiful new energy. Okay. This Queen of Pentacles with this Knight of Swords, you're going to get new information relatively soon about this financial opportunity. It's going to put you in a position where you can start planning for your financial future. And that shit is going to make you like, wow, it's going to make you happy as fuck. So this reading to me for you, Scorpio, is all about where you've been, where you've come from, where you are and where you're headed, both in love and finances and self and relating and you know this to me is a scorpio 101 video on your current temperature and scorpio i am so damn proud of you okay i am a scorpio myself i know about fucking moderation and the fact that again scorpio has achieved that too it's like damn it's like can you is there anything you guys can't do Angels was like, no, <laughs> right? Because we, um, we're not as fearful like most other people. We're a little daring and bold and we look death right in the eye and be like, what bitch, right? Whereas other people will crumble and, and break down. Scorpio's like, ain't nobody got time for you, <laughs> right? Fuck out of my way, right? Like Scorpio is just that person. So the fact again, that you guys have learned to clear out debris, for the sake of yourselves and loving yourselves and even opening up, letting guards down to let people love you too. Scorpio, come on, come on. My hat goes off to you. Um, the signs here, Sagittarius, we have Cancer, Pisces and Scorpio for me as a reader, also with this high priestess. And then we also have Leo with the strength card, which also represents pride. So yeah, for a lot of you guys, you could have had to release your pride um, especially as it related to holding on to whomever or whatever, right? You, a lot of times did not want to let go because you felt like it felt like defeat. Like I failed, like, damn, let me give this another try. That is Scorpio's nature as well. But these days, Scorpio, honey, you are so different right now that people will wonder what the hell happened to you. Like you are such a different person that people don't even recognize you no more. Universe has your back oracle cards. I am loving the energy of the universe. You damn right, Scorpio, because you are and embody the energy of the universe. Okay? You are the one sign that represents universal energy the best. Okay? I am in no way saying that Scorpios are perfect because y'all know, like I know, we're really not, okay? But again, the difference is we will look controversy and conflict in the eye and be like, move, bitch, get out the way, okay? Scorpio, my lovelies, I love you guys so freaking much. I'm gonna leave it here. Scorpio, you are the shit and the business and every freaking thing under the sun and i love you so much if you're interested in a personal reading y'all know how to find me contact details are in the description box below ladies and gentlemen don't forget to like and subscribe scorpio nation i'm so fucking proud of you guys all right love you guys bye